If you're thinking about buying one of these, a UK countryside property, then carry on watching the video because I'm going to give you some fantastic tips that could save you up to 10% of the purchase price in stamp duty reductions. Hi everybody, welcome to the video. My name's David Hanna of Cornerstone Tax SDLT Refunds and welcome to today's video. I'm thinking of buying a countryside property. What do I need to know? Well, of course, if you're buying a home in the country, you're buying a home. Ordinarily, you would pay SDLT at residential rates. And that, of course, could be 12%. And if it's a second home, could be 15%. If you're listening to this video from overseas, it could even be 17, up to 17%. But the key factors to understand when buying a countryside property are not all homes are necessarily wholly residential. When you buy a larger property and potentially with a larger amount of land, it may well come with features that mean that it is not wholly residential. And that's important because you will only pay the lower 5% mixed rate of SDLT on the purchase and you won't pay any of the surcharges. What do I mean by surcharges? Well, you've got the 3% second home surcharge but that only applies to wholly residential properties. Similarly, 2% non-resident surcharge for somebody coming to the UK, again, only applies to wholly residential properties. So just by having certain factors on the land, and there's a long list of what they might be, and quite a lot of rural properties have them, you could benefit from that lower rate. And here's the punchline. If it's one of the larger properties, not necessarily by value, but larger by by area and by accommodation, you may also be buying more than one dwelling. You may be buying a house with an annex or a house with staff quarters or a house with cottages in the grounds. We looked at a very large estate recently that actually had nine houses on it, including the main house. And when I say houses, I'm not talking workers' cottages. Big deal. It also had 75 acres, but by the by. The point being is, is that even if you buy a mixed-use home, you can still claim multiple dwellings relief on it as well. And every additional dwelling could be worth an extra 10 to £87,000 off your stamp duty bill. The chap who bought the landed estate with nine homes, including the main house, because of the extra eight additional dwellings, managed to save himself nearly 650,000 off his stamp duty bill because of the existence of those homes. Now that's not a dodge, that's just claiming the reliefs you're entitled to. The important pit thing being, you have to get the property properly analysed by a stamp duty specialist in order to know what the correct figure is. You can't rely on the right move calculator or the HMRC calculator. They simply don't deal with these nuances. So. If you've got a property like that and you've bought it in the last four years or you're planning to buy one, please get in touch. Click on the link below. We will be able to help you. And if you've liked this video, please click like and subscribe because you probably want us to receive further updates. And moreover, if you've got any comments or questions, just leave them in the comments below. I've been David Hanna for Cornerstone Tax and SDLT Refunds. Thank you for listening.